Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is the second part of our Oscar talks. We yes. have a full table today. A full house. We a couldn't tell house. anyone no. We couldn't tell anyone no. <laughs> the normal tradition is we do, this is third year in a row, we do a review lounge. It's kind of highly edited and, and a little bit more thought out where we go over the best picture nominees. And then we do kind of a casual podcast on the night of the Oscars because surely we like movies um, that were not nominated. Not me. Only the best pictures were the best. Do we want to go over the, the categories? Sure. Let's let's go right down the categories. Wh- what are we talking about now? The categories? The categories the of the Oscars. <laughs> the Oscar nominated categories. <laughs> Most years we talk about like how do how is it that people are able to watch these movies? Yes. And um, I remember last year there there was some improvement in making them available to the general public. I don't know if there was or not this year. This year, the, it was it was perfect. You could go on Amazon and watch most of the Best Picture nominees. Yeah. Okay. If I say it's Raven Simone, it won't be Raven Simone. I if I it say is. it's not her, it's gonna Who is it? be her. I don't know. No, it's not her, I don't think. It's not, that's it, so Raven. She's, a, she's, a, so she's Raven an attractive woman. That's is all John her? normally can offer. <laughs> I like she's her hair. He doesn't know very recognizable. Oh, it's Mary J. Blige. Hi, Mary J. Blige. She's, nom- no, she's nominated tonight. Do you know her because it's Ooh. because you know 1997 references? No, I... I <laughs> uh, best actor. Daniel Day-Lewis, Phantom Thread, mm. Timothy Chalamet, Call Me By Your Name, who we sure. really liked. I like him. Mm. Uh, Daniel Kalu- Kaluuya from Get Out, Denzel Washington, mm. Roman J. Israel Esquire. Didn't see. Gary Oldman, Darkest Hour. So the, the consensus that Gary Oldman will win... Um, really, it's pretty high. Oh, okay. it's pretty high that he's gonna win, but it feels a lot like it's a career thing. As I said, like he me. needs a, he needs an Oscar. He needs yeah. an Oscar. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't have one yet. Like like Leo needed an Oscar. Yeah, like Leo needed an Oscar for Bear Bear. Uh, Honestly, my Mauling. favorite performance of the of this group was "Call Me by Your Name," kid. I don't I think he'll win. Fucking no, I'm hated not. That movie. All I can say you, is you like, hate, uh, uh, I that's interesting. Hate I want to hear okay the, the like realism dialogue that I hate, where it's just like. Frank, can you go to the store and get us some apples? And they just walk around for a while. Like, what the fuck? It's the fucking worst. I hated that movie. I, uh, I did like the naturalistic dialogue. I, I thought that was one of the best things about it. My life is insane. I nothing. No, nothing is real. It's not that's the thing that people think is realistic. Like sometimes life is like that. But Jack uh, Pow Pow says I nominate Box Mac One Hundred Two. Ah, One Hundred Two. One Hundred Two was uh, the vegan Max. I think so. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Who, <laughs> how many people are watching? I mean, uh, just how many? Uh, quantity. Quantity. Quality. This is the first time we've six, ever six. Six are nice. watching. Yeah, oh, that, that's what you do when you don't advertise it. Six whole people. <laughs> that's a very interesting. Um, we as, just decided now that we're going to do it. <laughs> as far as Gary Oldman goes. It's just two hours of him going, war <laughs> like that was the- just nominate John Lithgow. If you want to get, just give John Lithgow the best doctor. Yeah. From the, from the TV series. Yeah. From what? Daddy's home from too? The crown. from he, cause he <laughs> played, he played, um, third, third rock. Yeah. Third, from third Rock from the yeah. Sun. Okay, yeah. also yeah. let's give the uh, let's give the Oscars to Third Rock. Yeah, but he, he played um in the in the Netflix show The Crown. He plays uh, Winston Churchill. Yeah, he oh. plays and does Winston a better job he, than Gary Oldman did. Best actress: Sally Hawkins, The Shape of Water. I believe she was the mute. Yes. Yes. Meryl Streep in, in The Post. Uh, oh, Francis McDormand in Three Billboards. Oh god, which is kind of like a like I don't know. She should win that. The she she should win that. Yeah, she Francis was good in that. She was a bitch. I thought she was. She a, was as salty as I, I am now. That's I, who I, she's I, supposed I, to I be. I was very convinced that she was a bitch. Well. Okay. I'm sorry. My phone started making noise. <laughs> Are you checking the weather? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. He's checking the. It's like oh seaside winds. There was snow. <laughs> Margot Robbie, I Tanya. Who I th- I actually do think she was pretty spectacular in that, and then Sir- Sersh Ronan from Lady Bird, oh, no. where she was just a loser. Oh, the, the mother, yeah. the mother, or the oh, the the, just the actress. No, Did you believe sorry. that she I was mean, a loser though? Did you genuinely believe? Oh, I believed it. All right, well oh, then that's some merit. Yeah, she played the loser so. very well. Uh, supporting actor Sam Rockwell, Three Billboards. No, no, no. no. Woody Harrelson, Three Billboards. No. Do, no. do you guys consider this movie like a powerhouse of acting? No, no. no. I think it hurts. I think they're miscast. All the sheriffs are miscast. They're all supposed to be like this. Like, oh, they're also racist. But it's like, oh, look, it's Woody Harrelson. Christopher Plummer, All the Money in the World. I couldn't find a torrent. Yeah, I, I saw. So it. we never saw. Harrelson it. I, I saw it. Movie. If you if you watch the trailer for that movie, you've seen that movie. Like, there's no need <laughs> to see it. It's it just is that movie. The kid gets kidnapped. The guy doesn't want to let him go, and he does. That's it. That's, it. That's the movie. Right. It's, it's. And then finally, Richard Jenkins, The Shape of Water. Oh, and Willem Dafoe, The Florida Project. I saw The Florida Project. I didn't know. And I thought, did you see the movie? No, it's one of the ones I didn't get around. Willem to. Dafoe is pretty good in it. It's what, what's the premise of that film? Um, we didn't talk about. It. There's a motel. 
It's right outside the Disney resorts. And it's where like sort of trashy, very low income people uh, stay for long periods of time. Yeah. And it sort of just follows the children of a group of families. Yep. And specifically this one family where the mother is uh, like a teen teen mom. Oh, it's a documentary. No, no, no. no. Well, although it's shot very verite. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's um essentially like her an hour and a half of of her and her family's situation decaying mm. and it's all it's sort of all set against the backdrop of like disney world yeah hmm. um like you know on the other side and it's it's pretty it's 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 uh, a depressing very depressing movie yeah. not to right be, up my alley. not to be watched to make you happy but i think we can all agree that sam rockwell I mean that performance was too cartoonish. It was just Sam Rockwell, yeah, I don't know but what with they're racism. Thinking. Yeah, he I, was think, exactly. I think people just like Sam Rockwell. I do yeah. like Sam Rockwell. I, yeah, I like him too. But, but, but he's very easy to like. But he's not a character in that. Like, good, when I think of a good actor, I think of somebody being a character. Like Daniel Day Lewis, not in that movie, but in like There Will Be Blood, is great because he plays a character. In 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 Phantom Thread, he just has a German accent at first, and people were saying that guy's good. He doesn't even have that accent through the whole movie. Best supporting actress, Leslie Manville, Phantom Thread, and she was she the girlfriend who's she probably no. No. is it a lead actress Let me it has see. to be yeah oh no she was oh she was the she was the sister oh my, oh, god. The oh my sister. god i don't even remember yeah <laughs> i know is that movie so bad oh i was so s- sleepy it, it might win best pitch no, we don't even it really remember. i really doubt it but they might Maybe are they gonna toss are they gonna toss day lewis one last oscar no 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 he said it's gonna be his last movie though so they might out of like That's sympathy yeah they, they do they ever do that they, like, do, oh, they do that the all. Movie. They do it all the time. Allison, yeah. Janney, I, Tanya, I, Tanya. Who here has seen it? I didn't. It's I, pretty good. I was trying to cram in three oh, movies. It's very stylistic. It's, it's really fun. It. it was. I think it should have been a. I should have. I think it should have been a best picture nominee. Uh, Jack Pugh. He did correct me on the pronunciation. Pugh said that Sam Rockwell carried oh, carried Moon. Moon's a good movie. Moon's fucking yes. cool. Of course he carried Moon. He's the only character in it. It's yeah. a movie about yeah, one of course dude. He carried- <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Take him out of it and the whole thing falls apart. Yeah, it's a movie about <laughs> one guy. A, the entire movie. Kevin Spacey's the robot. Dude, Tom, Tom Hanks carried Castaway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. What the? What kind of comment is that? <laughs> look, <laughs> look, don't insult our oh, one viewer. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, I thought I thought no viewers. I thought that was a real review. He was just joking. I'm right, so right stupid. On. I know I know. Laura Torres is watching. She's a big fan. And she gave us those pirate. Uh, jars, yeah, etc. Um, nobody future. knows about that. Right. No, For weeks. Hi, Laura. Um, speaking of Laura's, Laura Metcalf, who I do believe is the Roseanne sister mm-hmm. yeah. of the everybody. I think everybody just wants her to win because she was in Roseanne. Yeah, I think people just really she like was, Roseanne. She was good in that. She, yeah, but was she like inspired? Like, was that an inspired in performance a, in like this year where everything's mediocre or bad? Yes, it's. Is she put in a good performance in a fine? Well, I would give it. I, I, I would give it to. So I love Allison Janney. She played uh, uh, Tanya uh, Harding's mom. Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't. I and she was. She was pretty great. Uh, I was a little worried at first that they were going to present her as um, like like just a tough mom, but they but she's an abuser, and they present That's her correctly as an abuser, which I thought I appreciated. Um, and then you got Mary J. Blige for Mudbound, which we all torrented but did not watch. Yes, yes, yes. totally, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! I have it on my next uh, Netflix queue because there's just nothing that's going to bring you to play that movie. Yeah, yeah. I don't Oops. know. Yeah, it's not nominated just, for I, enough Somehow stuff. the the title somehow. Yeah, the, or in the thumbnail too. You're just the like, thumbnail nah. looked just so like <laughs> depressing. Oh, yeah. I think it was robbed because it could be a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It's nominated for most depressing. <laughs> you shitheads torrented it and didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then you got Octavia Spencer for The Shape of Water, a nominated performance. Yeah. Why? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's not. Good. She he, played a side character. Did we miss her on best actress list? She I just doesn't. She doesn't say she's anything. best supporting. She doesn't say no. Oh, like, oh, the, the like the main actress though, but she doesn't say anything. Oh, but she's. she's like but I want to rescue her so much. From, Amelie thing from Fish Hell. Oh yeah, well get a bunch of fish <laughs> abs and then you can get fish laid. Ooh, fish laid. Uh, Mudbound. This is best right <laughs> best writing adapted screenplay. We got sure, mu- give we got, it to Mudbound. Yeah, we got Mudbound again. <laughs> I'm afraid no one's seen the film. Uh, sort of in that same way that nobody lives in Newfoundland. Wait, what's the yeah. synopsis of it? I don't know. Mudbound. I, we should make one up. We should all make one up. It's People about new, it's New mud. Orleans. She's it's definitely New Orleans. To a muddy hole somewhere. She's Bound to the mud. You think there's a woman? I think it's about a black man in New Orleans. I have no idea. It was who was. Mary J. Blige was the main character. She's She's nominated. Maybe she just sings. Do you want the real summary? I can read it for you. He's not gonna. Are are, are we done guessing? Okay. (laughs) Laura McAllen is trying to raise her children on Mississippi's Delta Farm in a place she finds foreign and frightening. In the midst of the family struggle, two young men from the war uh, Uh, return to work the land. It's just a story about people. 
<laughs> As they used No to. wonder I didn't watch it. Okay, where does the top? mud come into play? Bound. Because you're bound in it. Okay, oh, off topic stuck. a little right. bit. Disaster Artists Sorry. was nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay. Good oh. night. So the thing about that movie mm-hmm. is, uh, so I read the book. I like the book a lot. I think there's a lot uh, that happened in the book that should have happened in the movie. Like, for instance, they really kind of like made Greg Sestero seem like he was into the room from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. And like he, he, he went along with it for the money. I yeah. mean, he knew it was stupid and bad from the start, and yeah. he didn't want to shave because he didn't want to be like recognized. <laughs> and instead, they made they made it about like Malcolm in the Middle, and he, he he was like this hero at the end. And there were some there were some scenes in the movie I can only describe them as basic bitch scenes. Yeah, th- that 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 movie was Hollywood documentary washed. It was it was given a coat of a coat of sugar oh, sleep. Whoopi Goldberg. What is she, what oh, he every year he. It's Whoopi the Goldberg. only person that he actually recognizes. <laughs> because she's the only one that's worth. And you know money. what she's wearing? The color purple. I noticed. Oh, she no. was in Ninja Turtles. Oh, no. She's the like, new one. Yeah. She was the. She played like the a commanding performance in Ninja Turtles. Yes, four commanding. Years ago. That's she just an just, just year sister year act. Okay, yeah. just sister act. I, oh, but I don't know. D- d- disaster artist had things going on in it, like like. <laughs> uh, sure it did. Just really shitty sequences, like He Man. They're laughing, and isn't that enough? And he's like, "Yeah, I guess it is, Greg." <laughs> <laughs> and I, re- I <laughs> and I was, I, I was starting to get kind of like max, like maximum capacity with the room. I didn't want to hear about the room anymore because of this movie because it was getting a lot of press. Mm. You go back to the room, you watch the room, you, you, great, you fall yeah. in love all over again. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that movie, like, no, no disaster artist can ruin that yeah, film. No, no. Uh, it continues to be so head scratchingly ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's just it's magic. You're tearing me apart. Ma- uh, Molly's game by Aaron Sorkin, which no one's seen. Yeah, well, Call me by your name by James Avery, which we liked. Uh, I'm not sure screenplay, maybe. I didn't like it. Yeah. Uh, and then Logan, uh, I was a huge. I think probably my favorite movie of the year. Logan was really yeah, a really not, good screenplay. It's not going to win, but that's so surprising that it was nominated. Screenplay. <laughs> well, if any superhero movie would be uh, director, it's an important. Category. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Guillermo del Toro, Shape of Water. Nah. He, nah. he gave a shit. He gave, he gave. He cared so much. You could tell he cared so much about well, that movie. You know what? You know what I will say about the Shape of Water is that the way that it was shot. I I noticed that some of the some of the shots for a lot of the movie, the camera was always moving in or out. Yeah. So it's it called was, a movie. It, yeah. But, as no, opposed yeah, to like no, fucking no, call me no, by your name where it's just like oh man get, Matt can you pass me the fire poker <laughs> uh, at least but maybe that's why I liked it more than you guys it's just cause I had tried to watch call me I watched call me by your name and then I'm like I'm like that was so hard for me to get through and then I watched um, the, the movie uh, with the fish whatever it's called and, shape of water. and it's the shape like, of fish and it's like this is a movie this shape is a fish movie fish there are stakes fish. there is a bad guy I know it's cartoony and 50s ish and it's like Amelie and and, and that's not okay it it's a movie though. It has a plot and it goes in order and it well, looks call, good. Call me by your name and definitely you, did. It, it wasn't the post. The post is call me by John and I held hands and kissed and watched Call Me By Your Name. <laughs> did you call no, each I, other I, by each other's names? <laughs> this is not homophobia. He called, I like he, Brokeback he called, Mountain. He called That's me, a good movie. He this called is me not chunt. a good movie. <sighs> call me by your chunt. Is what you right, said. We get your point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Jordan, uh, wait, wait, hold on. Dur- Durable nineteen eighty eight says not a fan of Abe Sapien erotic fan fiction. What the hell's that? <laughs> Abe Sapien Hellboy. Got it. <laughs> Excellent. It Slightly good. confused. Um, <laughs> Finish. <laughs> director of Get Out, Jordan Peele. Yep. Of Keelan. What Peele. do you mean? Yep. It's it because it's okay. It's yeah, a, I thought it was. You just well, said yep. <laughs> the fuck do you mean? Yep. He doesn't. <laughs> the fuck you mean? Yep. Yep. Can like, he yell at him? Like he I yell at John. You don't yell at John. He deserves to win. He was just like, acknowledging that the man directed a film. Yeah, I, said, I thought it was competently directed. I'm not gonna. Like, it's, I, no, it's look. I got news for you. John says yep a lot in box max. A, I gotta edit a lot of them out. There's a million. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> well, I took that yep yes, as it like is. he should win. No, no, that's why. No, but it's it's a, it's a perfectly competent horror movie. But it's not the best horror movie ever. It's not like it doesn't deserve an Oscar. There's good direction. It was good. It, it was is great. a good it movie. Was competently it was competently directed. Have you ever seen? But I've seen better horror movies, and they never. Yeah, but you just you just Oscars. defended this shit fish movie. But, yeah. I didn't even the like the fish, fish movie. movie. I just liked it in comparison to these yeah. other movies. Well, then you let's tell somebody that, cares. Then can you then can you grant? Uh, get out the same Where did pre- John go? The, the same relative comparison. <laughs> I'm sorry to have infuriated you. No, it's a good movie, but it just shouldn't. <laughs> I ask him a reasonable question, and he goes, 
<laughs> I'm a crazy person. Have you not met me? I oh, like Get Out more than I like the Fish movie. But Good. yet, but yet, but it's like I can't believe it's got nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, a lot of these kind of surprising there, nominated. All right, so yeah, there might be a little of a political thing behind that, but. Yeah, at least it's a good movie. It I, good I think movie. it does That's enough true. clever subversion of expectations yes. to warrant it. Yeah. Just, Somebody said, holy fuck balls, angry Kirby. I care about the movie. Yes, yeah, John but. O'Brien says infuriated Kirby. Yeah, All right, I so uh, Greta Gerwig, Lady Bird... Uh, I, I don't think that's a directed film. No, uh, it's not directed. I, I mean, it was all ad lib. Oh. Well, no. <laughs> I don't mean literally. I mean, <laughs> it was. Um, it had incompetent direction. The vision for it yeah. was limited. I thought it was fine. Um, it was okay. It's it kind of depressing, but it was fine. Or it depressed me. I don't know. So we well, laughed when we watched yeah, it. Yeah, well, there was some amusement. I, I, mean, was, I didn't dislike it. It was probably not like an Oscar movie, but they held hands and kissed. Here it is. Christopher Nolan, Dunkirk. I, I mean, mean, in terms of direction, Jesus Christ! Like this movie, it looks amazing. Yeah, it's it's, it's, no it's but you were you were you were he had to stage this entire story with all of these like components. What story? What is, do you want? Titanic? You want story, Jack and Rose? Story implies <laughs> you want characters that you can make them out on the beach. Do twenty minutes of character I don't need development that. would have done a world of difference for that movie. Yeah, it looks amazing. It's amazingly directed. But like, and what is with the father and son where the kid dies and they're just it's just like, well, I guess that happened. Spoiler what was alert. that? They were so like nonchalant. Gotta keep, gotta about keep moving. It. If you're shooting a box, Mac, somebody drops dead. You gotta keep moving. <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta just <laughs> throw Max. the body out. They, they just sweep you, the EJ you, out the door. Have a you leave. It wasn't his son. Good Mac on the floor. Moving. <laughs> it was his friend's son. Paul Thomas Anderson, oh. Phantom Thread. Get him out of here. I mean, he did direct it. <laughs> Certainly. Best original music score. John Williams, The Last Jedi. Shape of Water. I don't even remember what The Last, the last <laughs> Jedi. Oh, we could talk about Last Jedi. <laughs> we specifically skipped a review lounge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Dunkirk, Hans Zimmer, Phantom Thread, and Three Billboards. They all got nominated for, yeah. s- for score. Best documentary feature. Um, no, thanks. Wait, does anybody have any thoughts on score? At all? No. Score. Okay. No, I mean not particularly, except that I, none of these really stood out. Phantom Thread had a piano score. Dunkirk, Dunkirk, Dunkirk had a Hans Zimmer Batman score. Uh, <laughs> a with great band, Hans Zimmer Batman score. Uh, the Last Jedi sounded like every other Star Wars film, <laughs> with, except for the scene with Luke at the end. And uh, The Shape of Water, I assume, was violins and, and piano. I assume. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I don't remember. So violins and piano. So I, I have a question. Out of all the movies that anyone saw this year. Did any of them have, did any of you say, like, oh, that had a really great... Like a hummable theme? Yeah. Or, like, memorable, or, like, oh, that really that really set the mood. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I can hum you the theme. It was... I don't remember. It was so noticeable in Phantom Thread that they were trying to be, like, piano, bing, piano, bing, piano. Bing. Yeah, pay attention to the soundtrack. Best animated feature, uh, Loving Vincent, Ferdinand, The Boss Baby. Oscar really? nominated. Oscar nominated really? Boss Baby. Oscar nominated <laughs> Boss Vomit. Baby. The Breadwinner and Coco by Pixar, which will win it. I think this is the first year I have not seen any of the animation. Yeah. It's weird, right? I usually love animation. Yeah. I think Loving Vincent might win it, by the way. Oh, yeah, because they painted well, every they, frame of that. They, yeah, every single yeah, animation they, they, cell was, is a yeah, different painting, which is like a monumental. That. That's pretty mean. Under, <laughs> but yeah. I, I think Pixar is going to win because they always do. <laughs> well, because the ABC is the Oscars. Now we're back to screenplay, original screenplay. All right. Get Out, Three Billboards, Shape of Water, Big Sick, Lady Bird. I saw the Big Sick. What'd you think of it? I didn't like it at all. Wow, <laughs> Not at really? all? No. Why, I, tell me about it. Did was, you see it? Was no. it funny at all? No. Oh. Maybe a moment or two. Muslim guy, stand-up comedian. He does sort of like jokes about Muslim. Was he Muslim? Yeah. That I, thought was the he, whole I thought he was just oh, he Indian. Is. He's from Pakistan. No, he's, the whole point is he's Muslim. Oh, okay. Um, and he uh, falls in love with a girl. And they have a relationship. Who is not Muslim. And she's white. Um, and she uh, is diagnosed with a, 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 an illness that causes her to be comatose. Mm-hmm. And he ends up becoming friends with, or he has to sort of fall in with her parents, which are Ray Romano. And what? Um, uh, who's the other one there? The, uh, one, that, the one that talks like this. She I, talks she was in that like, movie with her. Is it she Helen was Hunt? falling in love with Danny yeah, DeVito. It no, it's, it's, oh. Scott Every time I think of this woman's name, she, the, her name is on the tip. Wait a minute. Holly, no, Holly, 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 Holly Hunter. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Does the accent make sense now? She kind of talks a little like. (laughs) She kind of sounds a little like Miley Cyrus because she talks through her teeth a little bit. Oh right, yes she does. Yes she does. Yes. EJ, a category that you care about. (laughs) Um, Best cinematography. Yeah. Oh yes. You get yourself a Mudbound. You got yourself a dark, a gray, darkest hour. Blade Blade Runner. 
Yeah, they're, gonna, they're beautiful, they, they only, beautifully yeah, shot. I didn't see it. You beautiful use you, of of lighting. It, it's it's one of those ones that it's every frame is beautiful. Yes. Um, yes. The you don't you can't really tell what is cinematography and what's uh, like special effects, which may be another category. But it, it just it's it's it's, it's a striking sci fi film, and I recommend it. Even just for the visuals, because yeah. the story kind of falls. stunning. The, the story kind of falls flat to me, but the, people loved it, huh? I didn't see it. But the it looked but really see, long. Did you ever see the original? Oh yeah. It's but the but the visuals are so striking. The direction's so good. Uh, I, I even think Ryan Gosling was good. Um, yeah, they Whoa. utilized him good. The cinematography was so good that Ryan Gosling well, was passed. I got in <laughs> shit. I got in some shit last year for criticizing him in La La Land. There's one guy that was uh, like, "I just want you to know that Ryan Gosling's better than you." He's a, a treasure. But How Ryan, dare you? But Ryan Gosling is. Playing an emotionless robot, so it's kind of okay. Perfectly cast. Not. Yes, that's the whole. thing. I mean, fair enough. Spoilers. That's not a spoiler. Right. It's like right off the bat, like okay. you are a replica. He's not like, technically a robot, like though. So way. you're a robot. You're a robot. Uh, a robot. Yeah. So yeah. the big twist in this movie is not who is who is and who isn't no, a, a that's replicant. Not the big twist. That's cool. not Stargate. No. Yeah, they kind, kind of. Well, no, no, you'll Ryan just have Gosling to see it for yourself. Like the first thing they're like, "You're a replicant." Like, yeah, off yeah. The bat. And he, and he's, he's all. Yeah, yeah. There's a twist on like how what degree of replicant he is. I, a, or if he's one at all. He's a Cylon. Is this one of the? Is he was from uh, Lady oh. Bird and he was also the main character in uh, Call yeah, Me by Your Name. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. You got it. All in white for some reason. John O'Brien, as a point of discussion, says the CGI. Cur- Who cares what John O'Brien says? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jo- John O'Brien, you don't like him? I, he's great. Really? What seems to be the problem? Yeah, re- what seems to be the problem, John? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a little inside. <laughs> um, in, out, in, out. All right, so uh, we're going to skip Best Animated Short Film, unless you saw animated short films. I did uh, see a few of them. Yeah. Uh, can you tell? Dear Basketball, Lou. Dear, all right, Dear Basketball is so funny because it's just a lot. Like, it's Kobe Bryant. In a love letter to himself, it's a self-aggrandizing <laughs> thing. And he's just like, I love basketball. I, love, I was so good at basketball, and I love basketball. Thank you, basketball. It has great Shut animation. It. It's like a pencil-drawn animation, but it's it's self-aggrandizing. Was it his garbage. story from um, started from the bottom? Now but right it's here. probably gonna win because it has a John Williams score, oh. and it just feels so Hollywood. See if you can get John Williams on board, you're shooing. Yeah, I mean, he is like getting to be about ninety now. Yeah. He can only last so long, everyone. I saw some an article from him the other day that was like, I only got one more of these Star Wars movies. In yeah. <laughs> I can only do so more. Uh, Garden Party, Negative Space, Revolting Rhymes, and Lou were the other animated. I saw Lou. Yeah. Lou was, uh, it was fun. Uh, the, the couple of those I didn't see. They're all kind of film festival-y shit, aren't they? Yeah. And, and there's uh, the Pixar ones might win, too, because Pixar and... Live action shorts. Silent Child. That was a PSA about you should have your deaf kid... Learn sign language, or yes. else they'll be a dumb. Mute. It's nominated for an Academy Award. It is so bad. Like some of the, they, they're saying that that's it's one of the five best short films made. This it, year. It's it's kind of pretty, but it's very hammy. It's a hammy PSA about you should make sure you mm, deaf kids. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna go mm, ham. Thank you for uh, ham. Uh, ham. Wadu wote all of us. That's a um, a short that is about how Muslims aren't that bad. <laughs> They're not that bad. They're not that bad. <laughs> so, so, it's not that bad. It was about a Christian woman who was traveling, um, and it w- her family was killed by Muslims. But then, while traveling, Muslims uh, are trying to kill Christians, and some Muslims protect her. It's, it's like rude. It's basically some Muslims aren't that bad. So please don't hate on. Don't Muslims. hate all of them. Yes. Don't hate us because you ain't us. Yes. Uh, right. The ele- <laughs> the eleven o'clock. Uh, that was a funny short. It was Especially. I don't know why it was nominated, but it was it was witty as a witty short about two psychiatrists who one was not a psychiatrist. His mental problem was he thought he was a psychiatrist, so they were interacting in a witty way. That's about it. Uh, my nephew Emmett. My nephew Emmett was about how slavery or no how bl- uh, racial <laughs> relations in the past were bad. It was about slavery bad. or race cards or something. We shouldn't go, we shouldn't return slavery, to that structure. We no. should we slavery shouldn't bad. we shouldn't lynch black people. The end. <laughs> we shouldn't. Sure? As a general business model, I'd like to bring up a point of discussion. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it actually is really good though. Oh, it's actually good. It was okay. good. All right, so good. Uh, and DeKalb Elementary. Um, that was about a, a true. It was based on a true story about a shooter coming into a school, very topical, and a receptionist 
diffusing the situation. It has a very um, Captain Phillips moment where the receptionist, after the whole ordeal is over, and she just diffuses the situation, breaks down. And actually, that's a pretty good short. That sounds good. Uh, But yeah, are these are these all just short? Or are they some of them based on true stories? Some of them are long. I think three of them are based on true stories, like the the one about the Christians and the Muslims was. (laughs) These all short. And um, but I I I think the the Cobb Elementary one was was pretty good. It was shot kind of boringly, utilitarianly, but I I thought it was pretty good. I didn't see that movie, but I know about the story, and that's a real good story. It's a good story. Like stop the school shooting. By hugging that guy and just listening to him. Yeah, Hug it she out. was like, I love you and you should stop this. And he stopped. I great. guess thoughts and <laughs> prayers are more valuable than we first suspected. She didn't think or pray at him. She talked to him and hugged him. Well, she yeah, thought like, about <laughs> hugging him, okay? Best visual effects. Dude, uh, dude. Last Jedi. Kong, Kong Skull Island, which was a real crap movie, <laughs> but uh, it had a nice gorilla in it. Yeah. <laughs> the best part about the movie? The big gorilla. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which I, I love the movie. It's one of my favorites of the year. But I'm not sure I would... I, I, I mean, the visual effects were fine, but... I thought the visuals visual were the effects. best part of the movie. Clearly, you know? uh, to me, again, not having seen Blade Runner, War of the Planet of the Apes would be the obvious. I would say so. I, it's I, incredible. I, I watched it recently, yeah. and it's like, it's such the focus it's of the uncanny. movie. yeah. Like, you you are on these apes for most of the movie, and you don't think about the CGI. And they've evolved the, the technology to where you can be doing motion capture anywhere on location mm. on and just like, turns into a monkey and, and Blade yeah. Runner is beautiful and you can't really tell what's uh, practical and what's CG but it's mostly backgrounds but the fact that you can't uh, tell is what well the fact that Planet of the Apes focuses on the apes that are characters the characters are so much harder to animate film editing you're always interested oh in sure uh, Sidney Walensky The Shape of Water yep uh, I'm always interested because how, how do you Shape really judge it was edited into a movie <laughs> Uh, this is editing. Oh, editing. Yeah. Yeah, you you kind of have to see the whole, all the raw footage oh, well, and you know before what? and after you, uh, to really determine. Baby Driver, though. Jonathan Amos, Thank Baby Driver. Oh, 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 beautiful. Excellent. Beautiful, beautiful, that probably beautiful sh- movie. That probably should be nominated I'm for. I'm so glad that's on there because there's. But did that movie have a backlash cool. where everybody was hyped about it and then like a bunch of people decided to hate it right after everyone probably. liked it? Why? Is that, well, because Kevin movie? Spacey yeah. was a gay <laughs> sex monster? Yeah. But that came much later. It's true. Although I bet you the Kevin Spacey, Spacey thing prevented it from getting nominated for much else. Uh, yep. I think you're right. Okay. Um, Damn it, Kevin, 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, the other the other editor on Baby Driver was also nominated. <laughs> so there are two nominations really? for, for editing, which is kind of interesting. Interesting. Um, and then you got Lee Smith for Dunkirk. I mean, that's a hell of a movie. That's obviously. a hell of an editing movie. John Gregory for Three Billboards. And no. uh, Titania S. Regal for I, Tanya. That is a very stylized movie, and I can see why. But... Obviously, Baby Driver should win that one. Yep, I think John I Gregory agree. ruined that movie. <laughs> I looked. I was there. Wow. Were, there were certain crap. parts of that movie that were wow. it kind of wow. blended wow. into wow. a music uh, wow. a music video. Mm. <laughs> yes. Wow. Was cool. um, wow. What are we wowing about? Wow. Matthew McConaughey. Wow. wow. Oh no, I'm sorry. The other guy. Wow. wow. <laughs> Owen, <laughs> Owen McConaughey. Yeah, that way. Right. Owen McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Crazier than a road lizard. He says that in like five movies. Oh yeah, like no one wrote that. He, that, 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 he, he shows up with that. Oh, and <laughs> he shows up. That's crazier than a room. Wow. Wow. Um, it's like zippity zap or whatever. What's <laughs> yes. up, everybody? You see, he just recently come at, <laughs> coming just, April first. He just recently <laughs> tweeted, "I don't actually say wow that much." Wow. Oh yes, he does. There, there's supercuts to super prove it. Cuts. Wow. There's wow. lightsaber battles to prove it. Yes, and NASCAR edits. Where <laughs> the cars fly by the camera. It goes wow, 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 wow. <laughs> um, sound mixing spans four pages of nominees. Jeez. Really? One, two, three, four, five. It's every movie. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was nominated 11, for something else. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 nominees. Wow. Now I noticed that like wow. three of them. Ha- wow. <laughs> wow. Three, three of them. Oh, Owen McConaughey. <laughs> three of them are Baby Driver. Three of them are Blade Runner. Three of them are Last Jedi. A few are Shape of Water. A few are Dunk. Yeah, three are Dunkirk. So Let's it's, say I think Dunkirk. it's just the way that they broke it up. They, they broke it, it up. Broke 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 it up now. Broke it up. Broke it up now. Make up. Who cares? <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. All right, so I'd like to now pivot. Yeah, do it. You want to pivot? Go easy. <laughs> do it slowly. I've seen the following films that we have not already discussed. Okay. okay. Let's hear it, friend. Split by M. Night Shyamalan. I did mm. not see. It was pretty great. It was Except for the very end, which I don't want to ruin, but I was like, uh, oh, the, the, the last, the like, the last, yeah, I was like, uh, Seconds. 
So some people were psyched about that. Some people weren't. Um, well, because Unbreakable was such a shit movie. Oh, well, there you go. So, uh, but, but I'll say, terrible. Th- I'll say I this. I kind of like Unbreakable, but I only saw it once at three in the morning on TV while I was half asleep. You do have, I the, be- saw you do have the best ever offended face. <laughs> he just said he didn't like a movie and you're like, I like Unbreakable. Do you know that there's an angry Kirby in the room? <laughs> <laughs> I remember I saw Unbreakable in theaters when it was out and it was me and one other guy. And when the movie was over, we both went from our both respective places in the theater. We both went, ugh. And we're like, and then we, oh, yeah, you hated it too. Okay. The thing about Split. Let me just say. Wow. 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 Uh, the thing about Split is that it, uh, <laughs> it's got a really amazing James McAvoy performance at the center of it. Yes, it does. Specifically, like, 17 performances He's since he plays. He is uh, very good at, like, everything. He's good in, like, and everything. It's, 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 it has a great sense of humor, this movie. Oh, really? Like, it knows not to be, to take itself seriously. The main f- female leads are great. Uh, what, the, the main, main one was in, um, uh, she was the, the, witch, main, she was right? the character yeah. in The Witch. Yeah, oh, which is yeah, a great yeah. movie. That's a great movie. Um, and, I don't know, it just... At times, it was really well done with the suspense and everything. And at other times, it was just big and dumb, which also worked. And it just kind of worked. I, I, I wish I watched that instead of The I Post today. Yes. That's a- M. Night Shyamalan works better when he has restrictions well, on to, himself. To be, to be realistic, I don't think he's made anything even close to quality no. since probably his first movie. All it's right. Then we got the Lego Batman movie. I didn't see it. It was funny. Um, yeah, it's better you know, than it's, Lego it's for, Ninjago. Jesus it's for, Christ. It's for kids. You know, it's... <laughs> It's it's ADHD humor. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I saw it um, during a sensory. Was it sensory? Oh, like reduce one of those new reduced sensory performances. Yeah, they were like the yeah. volume low, and you're allowed to like like start screaming in the middle of it. Oh, I see. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast live action. Didn't see it. Didn't see it. I it was. I didn't see it. I saw it. How was it? I got one comment. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was. Well, so first of all, Emma Watson horrible. Yeah. Um, she can't sing. And she's also like she's just she's just got that kind of bitchy Emma Watson thing. Yeah, not, resting Emma Watson face. <laughs> yeah, resting Emma Watson face. Um, How was Ewan McGregor's French accent? Fine, <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Wow. I mean, it was wow. It was, wow. It was okay in and of itself, but I mean, the original is. But I'll say this: it, it did one. It, it it tightened one plot thing that I appreciated. Um, in the original, in the animated, not the original, we'd have to go way back. Way back. <laughs> um, we'd have to go to the 90s and watch the Ron Perlman thing. Um, <laughs> I, Written by George R. R. In the yes. sewer. Yeah. Um, she starts falling in love with him right after she saves him from wolves, or she sort of hauls his carcass back from wolves. Yeah. Um, and then she starts sort of like nursing him, and that's why they fall in love. They never offer a reason why they start falling in love other than like, well, we spent some time together. Using and then, life, right? And then she, well, she, yeah. But then she falls for him when he give, he hands a library over to her. Mm-hmm. And he's kind of like, well, I don't know what any of this shit is. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I've been wiping my ass with this since I <laughs> turned into a beast. And she's like, well, sweet. I'll read all these books. In this one, he's kind of a bratty prince who is also very well read. And their love of literature is the thing that, it's that's the catalyst. Uh, that's well, I mean, in the car- and it actually makes sense. In that's the cartoon, easy. he had been told by the clock that that's what she likes. So he's like, "Oh, I'll give her something," even though he didn't. He's like, like, what, it what are chicks like? Clocks. <laughs> the clock is like. Ah. He uh, liked her, and he wanted to give her something that he knew that she would like. You're asking a fucking clock what a what a lady would like. He wasn't well, actually a clock. He was a man that watch, turned right? into. He was an old man, an old gay man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's in the new one. Oh, okay. That's true, actually. He wasn't an old gay man in the old one. <laughs> um, Saban's Power Rangers, which I reviewed last year in its own video. But it was fun. It's not at all good. Uh, if you're a Power Rangers fan, I don't think it's at all good. I thought it was... Um, I like Power Rangers. I thought that was dumb as shit. Yeah. No, I'm saying if you're a Power Rangers fan, you won't like it. Yeah. No. Because, it, because it. if just... you like Power Rangers, you like campy and big and over the top and ridiculous. Whole... And this movie was actually like serious Wait. and dark. We saw and... it together. Yeah, Wait, that, no, that whole opening like scene no, just threw like me for a loop. And I was like, why are they... They're making like sperm jokes and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, I liked it and I didn't think I was going to. Oh, I'm... I, I thought I'd like it because and I didn't, so... Uh, born in China... Which is like a, it, it's a a nature documentary by Disney. So oh it's yeah, like incredible cinema. Marketed to nobody. Who's gonna fucking watch? Families. Uh, so <sighs> IMAX. I'll, 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 I'll give you. Hey the, kids, let's go watch a documentary about pandas growing up over the course of twenty years. It was pretty compelling. Was it really? Yeah. Well, because they, they looked the trailer well, put me to sleep. Well, because they did that thing of and like, I love animals. They did, they Disneyfied it. And oh, and they they magic. really made stories out of everything and and tragic things happened to the main characters. Oh, did they give oh. did they give all these wild animals names like? TV, yeah. I see it. 
Sander the panda bear has to watch over her children. Yeah, otherwise, that's the movie. It's kind that's of a all right, fine, whatever. Well, because they because who they invited sh- you? They sh- <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy two, uh, especially because um, you know, as a new father, Guardians of the uh, Galaxy two is like I don't know. So it it, it, it covers just, all those father issues, and I cried at the end. As, it's like every single time I watched it. As okay. not a father, I found that stuff corny. <laughs> And I really liked the first movie, and I was kind of let down by the second one. I mean, Come it was okay. On, it, was it, was, it wasn't bad. I didn't. I just didn't like it. I thought it'd be. I just liked the first one more, and I was hoping the second one would There's be. As good. It, it's kind of like a redemption story about a guy who, who does something book? selfless. And yeah, yeah it's, it's, you it's, didn't, it didn't work. I didn't. Yeah. When he's Plus like, that, I'm your daddy. That, I know you were crying, but I was just like, oh. well, I didn't cry at that part. I cried oh, okay. as soon as the cat Stevens kicked. Oh, in. and then the thing where they're they're blowing up the fireworks for him. It's like he's dead. He doesn't know you did that for him. You told him blatantly it's for the living. No, that's what that's what made it more emotional. To me. He doesn't even know. He he was told to his face like, what a ridic- "Hey, we're what not a ridiculous the, life you're you not live. getting the funeral you want." And then he dies. And what then a ridiculous life he you live. He doesn't know he's dead. What a pitiful person. But everyone else did. <laughs> but Alien Covenant. <laughs> I saw. No, no uh, one knows that came out. Huh? How are they keep on making? Ridley Scott. How do they keep on making, I, 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 on making more Alien movies? And they're all pretty much the same. Like there's a there's a spaceship full of people. One by one, they get picked off by an alien. At the end, it gets killed by some kind of machinery that a character pushes into it. The Xenomorphs were CG and they were horrible. Danny McBride, interesting casting choice, I thought. Um, was he the cowboy or something? The, the cowboy. The cowboy. The, cow- I mean, the, he, cowboy. the space cowboy. He was part of the crew and he wore a cowboy hat, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I... <laughs> it, um, I thought I had... So, much like... Uh, what was the movie that came before it? Um, Prometheus. Prometheus. Much like Prometheus... Really, the only thing great about it was Michael Fassbender's character, who's back. Yeah. Um, and and the character he played in the first one, um, the, 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 the cyborg that's assigned to this crew is a different model, but same actor, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And then he ends up meeting with, like, the one from Prometheus that's gone kind of rogue, and it's, it's mm. interesting. There's, there are scenes where Michael Fassbender's acting with himself, and he makes out with himself at one point in the movie. It's pretty Ooh. interesting. So, so there's really? interesting parts, but then they had to... The, like force the alien kind of stuff into so, it. Yeah. So was it a prequel or a direct sequel? It was a sequel to Prometheus, a prequel to Alien One. Can, can I talk right. about something real quick in Prometheus? Yes. A lot of people had a problem with the fact that they like run into this guy who they think is God, and they like wake him up from a nap, and they're like, "What's the meaning of life?" And he's like, Rah! and he grabs him by the face and like throws him against the wall. And I was like, "Yeah, that's probably what God would do if you woke him up from a nap and started asking him crap." Guy Pierce in his old man makeup was back too. Um, mm. The Belko the Belko experiment, written by James Gunn. It's about uh, essentially a a death trial that takes place in a uh, an office office building, yeah. Um, and it's uh, it, the suspense is crazy, the violence is nuts. It's just a fun time, right. and it's you know it's a cool little comment on office culture and um, mm. you know what, it, it's kind of like turning like when we go from our most civilized to our most sort of apish. Mm. Um, it's good stuff, and and it, the hour and a half flies by. It's just a great movie, oh, I think. I'm a big fan of uh, James Gunn. Col- like Colossal. This was a great movie. If anybody, did you see, guys see Colossal? I saw it. No. So, I guess I'll ruin it a little tiny bit okay. because that, that's the only way I can intrigue you. Um, Anne Hathaway plays a lady who's coming back to her hometown. She's like a writer or something, and she runs into like a, a childhood friend um, who she had like pr- prior relations with. And one night she gets really drunk with her old sort of towny, towny friends. And she finds out on the morning news the next morning after she sort of gets really wasted that a kaiju uh, destroyed South Korea last night. Oh. And then it happens again the next time she gets drunk. And <laughs> what it, it it turns out that if she gets drunk and goes back to this air, this like little area of the her sandbox. childhood, the sandbox, and if her childhood friend also goes there, he's a giant robot and she's a giant kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> and together they, they destroy South Korea um, and then like they can make each other heroes and it's sort of, it ends up being this weird, interesting dissection of their relationship and sort of metaphorically about these monsters. And it was an independent movie. So, um, so the CG is, is few and far between and it was just really interesting. That Did you give any cool. explanation as to why these bizarre events were happening? It had to be like at a certain time. It's magic. No one cares. M-A-J-I-K. You know, it's just like this like sort of like weird, um, I don't know, it's a concept. You gotta <laughs> like the shape you gotta of water, go. why is there a fish guy that she yeah. wants no. to, that why everyone wants checks. to fuck? Suspension why? of disbelief. I saw Fifty Shades Darker. I also recently saw Fifty Shades Freed. If you want, which one did you prefer? If you want to, well, Freed because it's even more batshit than the last. <laughs> I mean, if you just want to dive into the psyche of crazy people and like the, this weird lifestyle porn and wish fulfillment, do you guys um, sneak a bottle just, of wine into the theater? It's just so funny. 
Um, it's really, really funny. Go with somebody who you love and who you laughed with. <laughs> Baby Driver, we're talking about War of the Planet of the Apes, incredible. Spider-Man Homecoming, um, I don't know, good Spider-Man movie, period? Yeah, I, I liked it. it. Solid enough. I liked it a lot. You know, not much to say hey, beyond well, that, I actually it's, liked it a lot because it's, it's not as good as the Raimi 1 and 2, I don't think. I, I love those movies. I, mean, I, prefer, I, liked, I prefer this. I, I liked really? Spider-Man 2, like, generally, but I, I preferred this one. I, I liked just how it was just like a caper movie with uh, Keaton was just stealing I like Michael shit. Keaton. Yeah, yeah, Michael Keaton was just stealing shit. He was like, I need money. And then Spider-Man was, <laughs> Spider-Man was in over his head and he was like, okay, I'm going to stop him. And I also, the, the only thing was too convenient. He was kind of trying to date his girl, his, uh, his, uh, his daughter, but that's about it. But it I was really good. You down. Uh, the, the, cir- the circle with uh, Tom Hanks and Emma Watson again. What? Um, now this movie was about like Facebook being... Uh. Uh, like all, you know, kind of taking over your life, and it's about accountability. It's about like the whole plot is she starts working essentially for Facebook, like a oh, social media. Cool. I don't. I can't even picture this movie. <laughs> it's real, and, and <laughs> I mean, it didn't make any money. But um, and then she, uh, they want to um, they want to have cameras in so many places on the earth that there's no such thing as lying. Oh, there's just complete accountability for everything, and they try to make these large demonstrations of it. And it was almost an interesting film about interesting topics. But it just wasn't smart enough. Yeah. It just didn't do it. Um, it almost Tom Hanks plays a great sort of like St- Steve Jobs type, though. Oh. Um, his, that's what his character. Because yeah. that sounds interesting. So that's, that's a shame that it didn't. Uh, Thor Ragnarok, um, which I thought was incredible. That is a great it's film. A, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Piss I off, Ghost. It. I thought it was super funny. It was really intelligently directed. Um, incredible yeah. production design. Yeah. Uh, Wonder, actually funny. Wonder Woman, uh, as Honest Trailer said, great two thirds. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it gets like a good. video game ending. Yeah. But then that third act was just CG. Yep. Um, and like a stupid twist. Like, couldn't it have been like, oh, wow, there is no God of Death. Like, it's all of us or something like and that. Wouldn't there. that have been more interesting? No, like, it's just time. a video game character. And also, it's just like, uh, it, it's so, it's ruined by all the DC stuff surrounding it. Which, speaking of which, Justice League, which is... Uh, Wait, it was nominated for... Oh, no, never mind. No, no nominations. Thank God. Thing. Justice League, which is like the um, the most Franken-weenie of a movie I've ever seen. What's that? This year or last it year? this year. It, it came out in like November. It's hard to remember. Um, it, I mean, it's... Uh, um, no. Big sec, we talk about Jim and Andy. It was the, the Jim Carrey, uh, Andy Kaufman documentary it. uh, on mm-hmm. Netflix. It's about him, like how he went so method that he went a little crazy on the set of... So it was a documentary about the documentary? A no, documentary no, about, about the, the narrative biopic. film. Oh, that's yeah. right. Um, and then you got uh, Last Jedi. <laughs> really? yeah, who has Again. any thoughts about that? <laughs> we'll talk about that someday. <laughs> uh, Bright, uh, which I was... I thought Bright. It was interesting for about I, 10 minutes. I liked Bright. And then it, it became a disaster. Really? I thought... Narrative. It was, it was kind thought, of a weird mashup. What, I you, thought, what was it about? I'm the opposite. It's about, like, in this in this altered fiction, we have fairies, dwar- uh, fairies orcs... Um, middle Middle Earth type stuff, mm-hmm. living amongst Sand. humans, oh, and so okay. so like like orcs for instance are like the urban Sand. population, mm-hmm. and uh, in Los Will Angeles. Smith, yeah, in Los Angeles. So Will Smith is a cop, the orc is his buddy cop. They don't like each other. There's like a racism element to that, but that, that is quickly abandoned by the film. They don't do anything with it, and then they they have to like hunt down a magic wand, and it becomes just it's Max Landis wrote it. Wow. Yeah. Oh. What else did he do? Uh, he wrote to? Chronicle. Yeah, um, Chronicle. He wrote. Well, Chronicle was kind of weird and like yeah. otherworldly as well. Yeah, I agree. Um, Killing of a Sacred Deer. Colin F- Farrell. 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 Yeah, Farrell. Um, and Nicole Kidman. Uh, basically, he befriend like he befriends a, f- a teenager who because he's a surgeon, and he befriends a teenager whose father died under his watch, and that kid is like obviously disturbed. Mm. And because he died under his watch, the kid put some kind of a curse on the family that he has to decide that one of his family members will die or else um, all of them will die. Hmm. They'll all start bleeding from the eyes and getting sick and dying. Hmm. And like he and it takes him a long time in the movie to figure out that's even happening. Is it? it And then then he really does have to he really is made to make the decision. Oh, spoilers. spoilers. I won't tell you who, but you know, he, he ends up in that situation. You can't mm. get out of it. Mm. So, it, it, and, and there's a central performance. The kid, as a matter of fact, it's the kid who dies in Dunkirk on the boat oh, that plays right, the main. Right. I didn't see it. Otherwise it would have been spoiled. Um, well, I don't, I, I don't think I spoiled it. No, you didn't. Um, it comes at night. was a movie I saw 
which is starring How was that? Joel Edgerton, and it's it's essentially a zombie film. It, it's about an I il- think I saw that. It's about an illness, and you know, it's about like don't come near my family. You don't come near my family, and uh, the nature of us all. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so it was good, but it wasn't anything all that inspiring. And then finally, a ghost story. Which I, I thought was, it. I thought I was it. one of the best films of the year. I, I think so. I think the show is starting. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. I sure didn't. <laughs> we, 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 did we did it. We ruined we did it. it. Hey, look, it's up to you in the comments to decide. Do we, do we have Who any ruined other? the stream? You decide. Do we have any other comments? Who's going to win the best picture? Oh, it's nobody. probably going to go to Three Billboards or Shape of Water. Yeah. Shape of Water. Or get Three out. Billboards is almost a good movie. If, Three edit, Billboards. If the editing was better, I would have liked that movie. Phantom Thread, I'm going with. No, God. I didn't see him almost like him. You think Phantom Thread's going to win it? Yeah. It, it I don't think so. Zero percent. Yeah, I really don't think so. <laughs> Um, all right. Yeah. What do you think is going to win? Because you've, you've been watching the Vegas odds. Uh, it, it's it's actually closer than you think. So I thought Shape of Water. I still kind of um, I'm hedging toward that. But I think it's going to be Shape of Water, Three Billboards, or Get Out. Wow. Okay. Real quick, there Frankie. What's the thing you hated most Get about out. Last Jedi? Just real quick. To me, it was that... Cap, they, uh, Cap, uh, Admiral Holdo. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it was that they pretended yes. they were going to kill a main character and like really like brought it home, and then we're like, "Nope." I was like, "Fuck you, movie! Yeah. Go, go watch a ghost story." Was, it was good. I was so <laughs> excited by that, oh. and then they ruined it. Like, All right, one more thing from uh, uh, the audience. Jack Pugh says, "What's the most Oscar baby nominated movie in your guys' opinion?" Post. The, the, post. Post. the post. The post. The post. The post. And with that, it doesn't deserve anything. <laughs> we'll see you later. Oh, see you Enjoy the show. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. I love you. Wow. 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 Ferocious. Wow.